Hi, and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play The King of Chicago! Um, right now we're doing a little bit of a fast-forward through the route that I took. This is the one I finally won with. As you can see, I got better at bombing there. Uh, it took a lot of practice. I've been through this quite a few times. We also tried to take a more diplomatic route. So we're talking to the guys first before we kill the boss off. And in several other gameplays, um, you're actually able to get the boss to just leave town and quit. So, I tried to do that in this one too. So It's like a 50-50 chance. Sometimes he accepts it, sometimes he tries to kill you off. So, if you don't uh, kill him, when he starts sounding like he's going to try to kill you, you don't even get the chance to fight back. He just takes you down. He like shoots you in the kneecap and then they toss you in the lake. Because he doesn't actually point the gun up all the way. And uh, as you can see here, he's he's not cooperating. So somehow he's suddenly in his chair. Shot to the cheek. And everyone was happy that I took over. So then we also didn't take a look at this ledger book in the original. It lets you hire extra goons, um, put the squeeze on your gambling and rackets and your speakeasies, and control how much everybody gets paid. This is why we never had money in the other one uh, to help Burke win. The way I've set it up now is we had 15 hired thugs, so we still don't have enough money for Burke to win, and we're actually losing money. But by talking to Burke and saying, hey, we're going to make you the next mayor, he joins without that much bribery. And then, with the 15 guys we got there, as you can see we set up, we're trying to get more money out of speakeasies and gambling there. Um, without trying to take it, Burke wins. So now we took two of the territories without even really trying that hard. And when you take them peacefully, when you go after Santucci with the... Oh, speaking of diplomatically... Um, we do this diplomatically too. We get Ben to make the phone call and he threatens the owner of the motel to kick those guys out of town. So it turns out Ben can be a tough guy when he needs to be. Anyways, so like I said, when you win the first two places diplomatically, um, Sanatucci isn't expecting a raid right away. So you don't get that car chase where they're trying to shoot you from behind and you gotta shoot them in the tire to make the car spin out. So, um, we're about to get back to the live commentary, I believe. So, right now we're going after him with a bomb, and once the live commentary is done, I'll be back talking to you again. Anyways, say hello to Passerfall. Peepers is gunning it, and we're on our way to try to kill Sinatucci one more time. Um, I've been doing this over and over again, and I keep just barely missing the window. Hopefully this time's the time. Hit that button to throw the bomb. Let's see how it goes. Finally! Yes! If it turns out he's not in there, I'll be pretty pissed. Let's go clean out the garbage. I'm with you, boss. The boss enters the smoking palace and runs into Guido. Uh. You're next, Santa Tucci. Only one man can emerge with the crown. I knew it would come to this, Callahan. Yes! Right in your cheek. Ugh! His mama looks a lot like our mama did. Chicago lies at your feet! Pinky, you did it! 
Walter. <laughs> You're the biggest man in town. That has got to be the worst seduction face I've seen in my life. Yeah, I did it all right. I'm the king of this mighty city. Well, don't get a swelled head. Or should I? It ain't like it's New York or someplace important. Aw. She never, it's, nothing's ever good enough for her. <laughs> Why, you little. The end. Yeah, so that's the end of The King of Chicago. The good ending, anyways. And a bit of a playthrough on how to win easier. As long as you can throw that bomb at the end, it's easy. I tried a million times to do the gunning one instead. And it seems like if a single one of your guys gets killed... Um... What's his name? Bull's like, Oh, somebody's been killed, boss! And you're like, Yeah, that's the price of business. And he's all like, Oh, well, we can't just go kill the guy now. We have to go tend to our one dead guy, even though they got like 30. So it's much easier just to... Once you get used to tossing the bomb at the right time, throwing that in the window. So if anyone plays the game, go with bombing whenever you can. And just hire a bunch of thugs and get them to get uh, uh, the guy elected mayor. And you're good to go. Anyway, we've seen all the credits before, so I'm just going to speed through them here. And thanks for joining me on Let's Play The King of Chicago. I'm Zerfall, and hope to catch you in the next series.